Today I'm in Louisville, Texas, eating Detroit style pizza. That's right, the number one pizza joint in Texas, according to Yelp, is Motor City Pizza. They're the number 16 top restaurant in the United States of America and the only Texas restaurant to break the top 20. Sounds like it must be good. We're gonna find out right after this. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right, baby. Oh, I love Detroit-style pizza. If you don't know what Detroit-style pizza is, man, it's made in a pan, like a rectangular pan. It's an old parts pan. That's how it started back in Detroit, like, like an automotive parts pan. Thick crust with that Wisconsin brick cheese melted on the edges to give it that crispy cooked cheese taste. Oh, oh. I am not new to Detroit style pizza. I have been eating Detroit style pizza. I remember when I was in high school, Little Caesars, man, that's what they serve. Pizza, pizza, baby. Well, this place right here, this is Motor City Pizza, and I am right off of 407, just west of 35 in Louisville, Texas. I heard about it uh, about a year ago, and I've been wanting to eat here ever since, man, because their menu is, is, is off the hook. They have special pizzas, they have this, but they have authentic Detroit style pizza. They even have a glue gluten-free Detroit-style pizza. They have traditional pizzas. They have appetizers, salads, desserts, beer, wine. They got a full bar in there. It's a cute little place, man. You can eat in and um, there's not very big, but that's not uh, not an issue for me. And one thing that jumped out of me on the menu, and you know you're from Detroit if you have this. They have the Detroit Lion Pizza priced at $5,555.55. The description is, the absolute worst. One of the very few pizzas to never even reach the big game. Matter of fact, unless you're a diehard, lifelong Detroiter, we suggest you avoid this one. Well, at $5,555, I'm going to definitely avoid that one. Now, what I did get is I got the Detroiter, okay, which is the, the authentic, the, the kind of the the authentic pizza, right? That's a Wisconsin brick cheese with old world pepperoni, the boss sauce. That's what they call their sauce, the boss sauce. I like that, I like that. That signifies your sauce is really good. I hope it lives up to its name. And then I also got a very Texas sounding one, right? Cause we are in Texas, right? It might be Detroit style, but you gotta have Texas style in there too, right? I got the Berea pizza, okay? The Berea pizza is a Detroit style crust and cheese topped with smoked brisket, onions, cilantro, and a drizzling of chipotle cream served with a chili infused beef broth for dipping. How amazing does that sound? And I also got a cannoli and I couldn't pass it up. I saw it on the dessert menu. It's a Reese's can cannoli. It's filled with chocolate, peanut butter, coated in crushed peanuts, topped with caramel and chocolate. And I can't wait to have that. So let's get the pizza out. Let me roll up my sleeves. I got one right here. Now this is the authentic. This is the authentic Detroit style pizza. Ooh, look at that sauce on top. That big, thick. See, you can see. Uh, hold on, give me, let me get it out. I'll show you. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh my God. Look, look. Hey man, if you get pizza and you have to, you have to fling your cheese back on top. That's what I'm talking about. This is the Wisconsin brick cheese. They put it on the edge to give it that crispy, crispy crust. See how it's it's thick, but it's not super thick. Cheesy sauce on top. Oh my God, I'm just gonna eat it. Let's just eat it. Mm, mm. Oh, mm. oh wow. I love having pizza. Pizza was one of my favorite foods in the world. And this is, this rocks. This sauce is so good. Let me get, hold on, let me get another bite. Mm, mm. Oh my God, that sauce is so sweet. Oh, this old world pepperoni, and crispy. There's so much cheese on this thing. Oh, I don't even want to eat the middle. I just want to eat all the way around the crust. This one here that I just pulled out, this is called the four cylinder. This is an eight by 10 rectangle pizza cut into four slices. And it says it serves one to two people. I don't know what one to two people they're serving. It's like a personal size for me, baby. But you can also get an eight cylinder, which is a 10 by 14, cut into eight slices. 
So you can get a bigger one if you want to, but what fun is that? I'd rather have two different little ones. Cause I like variety in my life. They also have a really cool option that I saw on the website. You can do it half baked. So they will half bake a pizza and then you can go home, throw it in the fridge, throw it in the freezer, whatever, and then just finish it off yourself. That's pretty cool. You can come to Louisville, have lunch, and get a couple pizzas to take home. Oh my God. This crust is perfect. Mm. It's a perfect crisp on the bottom. You get that beautiful chew in the middle and that crispy, crispy edge. Mm. And let's see why they call this sauce the boss. It is the boss, man. It is good. It is sweet. It is plentiful. It is tons of flavor. Mm. My favorite bite right here. Mm. They gave me... They gave me two cups of something. I'm not sure. This is definitely the beef broth, but that's red looking. Let me let me let me open them up and let's see what they are. They sealed them really good. I mean, I'm probably gonna spill them on the drive home. <laughs> okay. Ooh, can you see that? This is definitely the beef broth. Oh wow. Oh, dude, that is. I could drink this. This is good. Mmm. Wait, hold on. I gotta save it for the pizza. Mmm. Oh. <gasps> they gave me a whole cup of pizza sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That is so freaking good, man. I wanna swear so bad. This is. Look how thick that is, man. Oh. Oh. Man, I wish I had like. Like 20 fried cheese sticks to dip into this. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Check this out. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that beautiful creation. Dude, this looks insane. This is a barilla. Now this has smoked brisket, onion, cilantro, chipotle cream sauce, and the chili infused beef froth, which we just drank. Dude. This looks insane. Oh, it's got that crispy crust. Mmm. Oh my god. I actually love onions on my pizza. I give it that, that, that yummy crunch. Dude, but this is oh hold on, I gotta eat one. I don't know where they get this brisket, man. This brisket is good. Check that out. I'm got that beautiful crust. Mmm. That's good. I mean, this is, oh, the Chipotle sauce. I almost forgot to dip it. Beep, bro. Meet my pizza. This is already one of the best Detroit child pizzas I've eaten. But man, this beep, bro, makes it so much better. I can't stop. Wow. I gotta say, wow. This is one of the best Detroit style pizzas I've ever had. It's Especially in the DFW area. This is a must eat, man. And it's not priced that bad. Like these specialty pizzas are about 15, 16 bucks. Um, but you can get like a make your own. I think starting at $9.99. So they've got a great selection. They've got all this stuff. Well, wait a minute. We almost forgot the cannoli. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's two. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Now this is, now this is chocolate peanut butter top of caramel and more chocolate dude look at this thing oh my god uh, look at this thing it's so scrumptious it looks so unhealthy i just want to eat all of it right now mm. 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 there's so much peanut butter i can barely talk oh look at that oh i gotta have another bite mm. wow that is phenomenal. You know, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be full. After two pieces of pizza and a cannoli, I'm pretty pleasant. Hey, maybe you can split one of the little pizzas. You could definitely have one for lunch. I mean, that is a really good pizza, I'm telling you. Great cannoli, great pizza, perfect execution. That Wisconsin brick cheese, that crust. Oh, that boss sauce is off the hook. The Barilla pizza is the bomb. I, I can't, I can't say enough good about this place. I cannot wait to come here more often. Two thumbs up, baby. I 
highly recommend that you get down to Motor Street Pizza. If you're into Detroit style pizza, and if you haven't ever had one, you might just start here and then you'll never like another one again. You'll just eat here all the time. Well, that's it for me. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and hit that next, uh, hit that next video if you want to watch it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I appreciate you and I appreciate everything that you do and I appreciate you for watching. Until next time, keep getting Detroit style pizza and we'll see ya.